Hey guys, Gameboy3800 here once again, and I'm going to do another how much memory can it handle kind of video. Today we have my beater laptop. This is the Dell Inspiron uh, E6510. I re reviewed this laptop a while back, and I do still have it. I use it daily. Uh, it's just like a bedside kind of laptop, or bring it to school, or like on a road trip kind of laptop. It's not my main machine, not by a long shot, but it is still good enough for browsing the web or playing basic games over, like, you know, in a car, tri car trip or something. So, opening it up, we see it is exactly the same as I reviewed it. It's got a first gen Core i7 and 8 gigabytes of memory. But it does have DDR3, so how much memory can we throw into this old machine? Obviously, a first-gen Core i7 won't be able to fully utilize it, but, you know, we can see how much it can handle. So, let's get to taking it apart, and see what memory sticks I can throw into it. Alright, so it's turned off. I have the memory, and I will show you the memory beforehand. We are going to be putting in... 12 gigabytes of memory. We have a 4 gig stick here and an 8 gig stick here. Now one of these should automatically work since it's already 4 gigabytes and it's got two 4 gigabytes in there already, but you never know. I'm going to go ahead and take out the battery. Not too hard. And I believe it is one screw only to remove this. We may have to unscrew the hard drive. Yeah, we gotta unscrew the hard drive. Oh well. This is a mostly really good design, but you know, you have to unscrew the hard drive. And I should show you the hard drive on this machine. It's actually quite hilarious how it even works. So this hard drive is broken. If you notice on the top of the set of data connection, it's got no plastic plastic to help uh, keep the connector in. So yeah. And I believe now, oh come on. I don't see any more screws that needs to have undone. And I, I swear I've done this a million times before. There we go. Just took a little bit of coaxing. So it's all one big giant panel. And here's the memory right here. Let's go ahead and set that aside. And move the computer itself into frame. So, no big deal. Looks like we already have the exact same speed memory installed at 1600 megahertz. Although it's probably downscaled to uh, like 1066 or something or 1333 or whatever it is. Yep. And these are already DDR3L memory sticks. In case you did not know, DDR3L is backwards compatible with DDR3. But DDR3 is not compatible with DDR3L. Gotta remember that. So we're gonna put the 8GB stick in first. And it goes. And then here's the 4GB stick. There we go. So now I'm going to have to put the hard drive in very carefully in order to be sure that it'll I get the connection. And we're going to put the battery back in as well. We're going to leave the bottom cover off so that I can usually put in the old memory if I so desire. If this test turns out to be a flop. Let 
All right, that should be good. I will get back to you at the Windows desktop. Actually, I just remembered that I showed you the BIOS on the other computer. And it wants me to go into setup anyway, so let's go ahead and hit the F2 key. And see if it will recognize all of the memory. Let's make sure that you can see that. There you go. System information. Alright, we actually are. I didn't need to scroll down and all that memory information there. You can probably see that we have 12 gigabytes of recognizable memory. DIM size A is 8 gigs and DIM B size is 4 gigs. So it seems like we are all set to go. So let's go ahead and exit and get into Windows now. All right, here we are. Let's go ahead and see what system will tell us. All right, and we do have 12 gigabytes of memory ready to go. And we will go ahead and see what our Windows scores are and to see if they can get any better. So memory speed was already really good at 7.3 and 6.9 was the processor. So let's go ahead and see if those scores are one, still up to date, and two, if they will be better with the more memory installed. So yep, I'll be right back. All right, I just ran it. It only took a few seconds and no change. The processor speed and the memory speed are still the same. So, I guess this is the same conclusion as with the MALX R2. You can put more in, but with a CPU this old, it will never fully be able to utilize it properly. Unless you have like a billion Chrome tabs open, then it could help you. But if you're not doing that, then stick to 8 gigabytes, or in the MALX R2's case, 4 gigabytes. So yep, that was it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, then please go ahead and leave a like, favorite, comment, share, and of course don't forget to subscribe as well. Thanks, Gameway Out. I will see you in the future.